the enthusiasm of the child scientists is growing higher day by day. They are actively participating in every activity that is being organized in the campus. Like 20-30 kilometers, the rotation is there. So then he goes The entire environment in the campus is filled with scientific spirit and children are enjoying the scientific temper that is infusing the atmosphere. Somewhere, a child is experimenting with the mechanics of cycles or another girl child trying to debate the principles of astronomy. In yet another corner is a group of children with their teachers trying to devise interesting shapes with paper-based origami that was demonstrated for the last two days. The vibrant atmosphere had an energetic effect not only on the children but also their guide teachers and district state coordinators who learn and share their knowledge and skills with peers. Stand here and put your finger like this. Put it up, 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 up. Give it a clap. You can do it. If I take this one, it will be very easy to understand with this tube. When I am putting this, see the CG of this ring is somewhere here. So with this ring, I am holding it because the CG is just directly below. And if I rotate it, it will oscillate like a pendulum. Because this is the stable equilibrium position. So these are all experiments on center of gravity. And we call it a belt magic. After a hectic schedule of technical sessions, children showed curiosity during their interaction with Professor Yashpal. यार मजा आया कि नहीं ये सोचने का इस तरह का हाँ बोलो यार मजा आया You are all very clever children. You probably get very high marks. Do you get hundred percent all of you? Raise your hand who gets 100% or 90, above 90%. Ah, large fraction. All right, you get above 90%. And how many of you have tuition classes? <laughs> tuition classes, coaching classes. Jude Bolreo, you all have coaching classes. <laughs> <laughs> you, to get high marks, I'm told you can't get high marks unless you have coaching classes. Is that correct or not? No, sir. No, sir. You don't have coaching class and you get high marks, right? Wonderful, wonderful, all of you. This occasion also provided an opportunity for children to interact with Professor Bruce Norman from Renwin University, Beijing, who combines his passion of mathematics with mountaineering. A few days ago, there was a volcanic eruption in the Icelands, and yes. the, in the clouds of uh, the cl uh, in the storm and the smoke was all over the Europe. What was the main reason for that? And it uh, long lasts for many days, many months. Is the, I don't know if it's possible to flip back. The, the main reason for this was that the volcano was under a glacier. And so, you know, I discussed a little bit about glaciers. I discussed a little bit about volcanoes. The Icelandic volcano was beneath a glacier. And so the first effect was that the hot rock 
cause the ice to melt, the creation of steam shot the ash into the atmosphere. They also had an opportunity to interact with scientists from different states through video conferencing. I wanted to ask that artificial fertilizers are soluble in water, whereas the chemical fertilizer or the organic fertilizers are not. What is the reason behind this? Artificial fertilizers are actually a simple structure. So to get that absorbed, you don't require that high-powered enzymes which have evolved over the millions of years. But on the other hand, the natural nutrients are the ones in the environment the trees really evolve. So the ways the two things uh, are assimilated are uh, basically following different mechanisms. So solubility is just one of the criteria, but not necessarily the only and or, or even the best criteria. My question is that it is possible to make an artificial layer which could protect us from UV rays. If yes, how? Affecting the layer, actually much of this ultraviolet layer rays are cut off by a layer of ozone, which is a variant of oxygen with, you know, three atoms. In, oxygen has two atoms in the molecule. Ozone has three atoms. So this ozone shield protects us from the ultraviolet rays. The ozone disposes of by reacting with ultraviolet radiation. But our misuse, if you like, of our industrial processes cause emission of gases which go to the ozone layer and kill the ozone, react with the ozone and create holes. And through those holes, ultraviolet rays are coming in. So there's, why should we think of an artificial shield? All we have to do is to be sensible, control emission, control our lives, control our society and industry so that you prevent the depletion of the ozone layer. You'll get your shield naturally. The entire campus wore a festive look in the evening when children presented cultural shows from different parts of the country. in their colorful costumes and styles of dances and songs.